Hello and welcome back to a new video about the bright side of mathematics. As you might already know, here on my channel you find a lot of mathematical content and a lot of courses you can watch. And in these videos here, where you can see my face, I want to show you how you can effectively use my videos and how you can organize your learning path. For this reason, here on my webpage you find a whole network where you can find all the courses and the connections between them. And in this video here, I want to show you the upper part, so the foundation you need to know to understand all the other video courses. Therefore, I call this course Start Learning Mathematics, because this is the point where you should start when you want to explore the whole world of mathematics. And you can see, I've divided the whole series into some parts, but I can already tell you the first two, logic, sets and maps, are the crucial ones here. Okay, then I would say, let's click on one of the nodes and then you should see the whole structure of this series. Indeed, the first video here is just an introduction and then we actually start and here you see the order I have in mind. So here we start with explaining logical statements and then we can talk about sets and maps and after that we can construct numbers. However, since most of the time one already has an idea how to calculate and deal with numbers, I would say one should focus first on the language of mathematics in these two courses here. Indeed, here we learn the symbols we use in mathematics and also the ideas how we can construct sets and how we can define maps when we know what sets are. I've created these two series not only for beginners, but also for people that already have a lot of mathematical knowledge, but want to learn the foundations in a correct way. Therefore, this series here is a little bit mixed. It's not a whole formal logic course at all, and it's also not an explanation or a lecture about axiomatic set theory. Indeed, I would say this would be totally crazy as a beginner course, this is something you can do after learning a lot of mathematics first. On the other hand, my series here is also not just a very fast hand-waving beginner course, because I want to use some intuitive idea, but I also put in a lot of formal constructions. Hence, it's a basic course, but not a simple one in this sense. Okay, then I would say, let's go through the first videos here. In the first part in logic, I just explain what logical statements are and how we can combine them here with the conjunction and the negation. And then we just continue to the next combinations. So here you see disjunction, tautologies and logical equivalences. So you see, these videos we have to explain the symbols we use in mathematics. This is very important because in mathematics we want to prove stuff, which means we need a very precise language. We don't need to use this formal language all the time. We can definitely mix it up with some English words or substitute it with some English words. But in the end, it's important to know that theoretically we can always express everything with this formal language. So everything should be rigorous in mathematics and then you know that you can write down proofs that work. Okay, so this is what you can remember. Logic gives us the rules how we can combine old statements to get new results out. So this is definitely a foundation of mathematics, but we need more. We also need building blocks to build the whole house of mathematics. And in a common way, these building blocks are given by sets. And with these sets, you can also define maps you find throughout all mathematics. Therefore, I would really say this introduction course here, how to learn what sets are and how to deal with them is very important for your career. Indeed, we learn a lot of vocabulary here again, so subsets, intersections, unions and so on. However, I would say we also learn more how this language of mathematics works because we see how we can combine sets in a normal way. For example, in this video here, we see that a map is just a special construction of a set as well. And therefore you see, this notation for a map 
is not a complicated thing at all. Okay, with that I would say the following videos are the most important ones in the whole series, because here we explain more vocabulary about maps. For example, the notions range, image and pre-image you see throughout mathematics. Therefore, you really need to know what it means, because it comes up again and again. And also here you see a lot of injective, surjective and bijective maps throughout mathematics. Ok, then the last video in the series here might be a little bit simpler again, it's about the composition of maps. Ok, with that I can already tell you, you have the knowledge to start with the linear algebra course or the real analysis course. And only if you want to have some deeper understanding how numbers work, you can watch the rest of this Start Learning Mathematics series. Indeed, it's very interesting to see the construction of the number sets, but it's definitely not needed to start with the other basic courses. Therefore, as a beginner, you can just have a quick look here, and then you come back in a moment you feel ready for these formal constructions we do there. And also, you should come back in the moment you need complex numbers, because in this series we introduced them. And indeed there, the whole constructions of the number set is much simpler. Ok, I think that's good enough for an overview here. I don't have to go into the details at all, because I already do that in the videos. The important takeaway from this video is that you know the order for these courses, and the importance of the first two nodes here. So then have some fun learning mathematics and I hope we meet again in some of my other video courses. So see you there and bye!